Joy Reid on evangelical white Christians. But, you know, I feel like the, the important sort of data point, and, and, you know, Steve talks about it a lot. He's, he's going to probably talk about it a little more tonight, is that these, these are white Christians. That this is a state that is overrepresented overrepresented by white Christians that are going to participate in these tonight. caucuses, yes. especially tonight. Um, I today earlier today reached out to Robert Jones, Robbie Jones um, from the Public Religion Research Institute, knowing that we were going to talk about Iowa, and this is a hyper evangelical st white state. And he said the following to me: Iowa is about 61 percent white Christian. The country as a whole is approximately 41 percent white Christian. And in Iowa, we're talking about evangelical white Christians. And he said the following. Because I asked him, what do they get out of supporting Donald Trump? Because he keeps losing, he keeps delivering losses and losses and losses. And he said the following, they see themselves as the rightful inheritors of this country. And Trump has promised to give it yeah. back to them. All the things that we think about, about electability, about, you know, what are people gaming out, or mm -hmm. none of that matters when you believe that God has given you this country, that it is yours, and that everyone who is not a white conservative Christian is a, fr is a fraudulent American, is a less, a, mm -hmm. less, a less real American, then you don't care about there, electability. You care there about you have it. There you have Joy Reid hearkening back to Kuhn and his speech in Madison Square Garden in 1939 where he said, you know, we want this country for, you know, white Gentiles that founded the country. And here's Joy Reid, who has an academic background. She knows the history. She's linking the movement, the white evangelical movement, as she calls it, or the white Protestant movement, to this Hitlerite Nazi uh, history in our country. And she said a bunch of things that I thought were really interesting. Number one, she draws a distinction between white Christians and Christians. Now, if you take a look at the numbers, people that profess to be Christians is over 60%, which is way down. It's down by 30% in just the 20 years. So faith is going down fast. But she's talking about white Christians as if they're different from black Christians. That's a scam right there. You know, if you're going to say your identification is Christian, the religion doesn't care. God doesn't care for white, black, or green. Irrelevant. First for the Jew, then for the Gentile. It doesn't say first for the Jew and then for the white Gentile. It says for the Gentile. First for the Jew, then for the Gentile. So her distinction of white evangelicals is really divisive in the extreme because it's separating Christians into different groups as if Christians don't do a good job of that by themselves because the Protestants and the Catholics don't get along. So fragmentation, fragmentation, fragmentation. And she's identifying the vote as being some kind of manifest destiny or some kind of uh, sense of entitlement by evangelicals that it's their country. Hey, how about just the economic reality that the policies of the post-World War II Democrat liberal order makes people in Iowa poor? How about just that? You know, you can't have it both ways, you know, political pundits. It can't just be about the economy. It's about the economy, stupid. You know, their icon, Bill Clinton. It's just about the economy. And then say it's about, you know, manifest destiny or a sense of religious entitlement. You know why I know it's about a sense of religious? It is not about a sense of religious entitlement. I know it because I'm in Acts. And these people don't say it, number one, because they would. They say anything. And these people don't hold back. They don't even think that. And number two, they're not that religious. They're just not. I'm going to talk about that to end the podcast. You know, you can, I can say I'm a Jew, but if I don't believe in God or if I don't practice faith, if I don't walk by faith and not by sight, I'm really not getting into the religion. The religion demands a lot of its participants. So anybody can say they're anything. Hey, I'm a Christian. Great. What do you do to be Christian? Well, I go to church on Sunday. You do anything else? No. Do you believe in Christ? Yes. What do you do because you believe in Christ? Now, I realize there's an infinite range of answers in here. But if we really were as religious as we say we are, we wouldn't have these problems. I mean, if the country was as evangelical as Joy Reid is positing that 41% of the people were evangelicals with a sense of entitlement from God and that they were doing God's will here on earth, 
And let's say they were over overrepresentative. Only a third of the country was evangelical Christian. If that was true, that these people really were going to work to maintain America as God's country, there would not be one seat not filled in the Republican Party of the United States. There'd be 400,000 evangelical Christians running the Republican Party, and we'd be running this country back to its conservative roots. But they must not care because they're not doing it, which means it's not really that important to them. Because if it was really about God, and they believed in God, and they were willing to put their ass on the line for God, they would be in these parties. They wouldn't just be showing up to vote. They'd actually stay in the Republican Party of Iowa, which is a neocon war hawk party dominated by people that are 100% in support of empire. No, they'd overthrow these people because they'd understand that people that are in support of empire are really, no matter what they say they are, oh, I'm a Christian. No, if you're supporting the empire, you're a Darwinist by definition, and you're in the British business model of slavery, drugs, and piracy. There's no Christ in here at all. So let's not let these people wrap themselves in the cloth of faith to fool people, and then Joy Reid comes up and says, well, it's about faith. Oh, BS. It's not about faith. It's about these people are being made poor by the empire. They're being passed over and pissed on by our political elites on the, on the East Coast and on the West Coast that don't care about Iowa. They hate Iowa. They hate men. They just want nothing to do with it. It's flyover country. And they want to make fun of these people. And, you know, this is what it is. So that's my, my, my read on Joy. And, she, you know, she's, she's, she's not done. 